Hello guys, welcome to uh, DFT Code World YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn the installation of Win2K with Libaxi. And first of all, we are going to install few required packages as shown in this list. So we are trying to install or update these packages one by one. And we are here to install the uh, these packages by first we first of all it will be the update required uh, to install win2k uh, the system will be updated and after that the update is going to start the update is started with that So after update we will upgrade our system just as uh, sudo apt get update and upgrade so after that we will install CSH and DCSH etc. G4tron is already installed but we will check again that if some kind of update is available so we have to update before going into the detailed uh, installation of win2k uh, latest version 23.1 there are few few changes which will be uh, mentioned later in this video that the installation of win2k 23.1 is required uh, that the open glass as well as the fftw should be installed in uh, root rather than simply with sudo apt get command so this this is uh, done it will take some time to update and upgrade these required packages and libraries as you can see that so this is the actually the part one of the video first part that is the installation of win2k with libxc um, the main feature is actually is that uh, the libxc is installed uh, with with win2k or win2k is interfaced with or configured with libxc so that you can use the meta ggas and uh, other uh, exchange and correlation functionals with with win2k So this, these are uh, updates done, you can see that so all the libraries are being installed or updated one by one as listed above this uh, terminal. You can not you cannot skip any of uh, these uh, required libraries. So next is to uh, install the libpng or dev libraries. So these these are the updates. Now the sudo apt add actually add apt repositories as mentioned above. These repositories are to be added in our system just like that. The next is to install the <coughs> editors. You have you can you can update Emacs or you can simply use the uh, Vim or VI editor. So we are here to install Emacs. It is actually the editors. Uh, you can use the Vim 
as an alternate of this Emacs but we are going to update this and also the uh, libraries of uh, exchange and co fun correlation functional libraries just as uh, libxe dash dev so these are un unpacking and preparing Emacs for the system Yes, it is done, and now the library of exchange and correlation functional will be installed. Yes, it is. Uh, as I have told you that the uh, Win2K will be installed with libxc. So, for the installation of libxc, you you can watch our previous video. Uh, the link of that video is available in this description the description of this video and you have to install libxe uh, before going into the detailed uh, installation of win2k 23.1 the latest version uh, there are uh, there is another actually there is another package required uh, for the installation of win2k is the open blast package the installation of open blast package is also necessary so you can install open blast in root usually for the previous versions of win2k you can you can uh, use the open blast package installed anywhere in your system but for the latest version of win2k you have to install it in the root so the installation of open blast is already done and the link of that video is also available in the description of this video so uh, uh, you can install open blast and libxe by watching those videos in the root another package which will be installed right here is the fftw uh, and which, which is actually this uh, subroutine of c required for the installation of win2k it will be source installed right after these commands and you will be able to install uh, the uh, fftw in root as well so libxc open blast as well as the uh, as well as the uh, fftw all these uh, must be installed in root so this is sudo app get install So, so to install the uh, FFTW, you just have to download it first. Uh, just go to Google and write FFTW, and you can get the home page of FFTW. You can see that is it is actually the subroutine of C libraries, and you can download its appropriate version by clicking on the link. You can simply download it, and, and downloading is has been started. It will be available in download folders and you have to uh, move it to the root by applying simple command that is sudo sudo move this fftw to the uh, root that is opt just apply sudo move and folder opt provide password of your root password and you can see that it is moved in the opt folder you are going to uh, visit opt folder by applying change command folder and you can see that there is a red folder moved over here in opt just simply unzip this by applying command sudo tar minus xvf and package dot gc yes you can see that there is, there will be a, a new folder with this name as highlighted and you can move into this folder by applying change directory command Yes, you are in this 
folder and you can uh, simply uh, install or configure it by applying sudo dot backslash configure and uh, with a prefix named fftw you can install it within this folder but uh, i would rather, rather prefer to install it uh, in a new folder with name fftw3 so that our main folder and main main uh, routine will be protected you can see that the configuration is almost done and after that you simply apply the next command you can see that these are two lines bottom lines and sudo make it will take some time to make all the required changes you can see that we are installing it in root I, I am repeating that for the installation of Win2K 23.1 the latest version you have to install your OpenBlast as well as FFTW in root uh, also if you are if you are going to configure it or install it with libxe your libxe must also be in root for those you can check our detailed videos on the installation of libxe in root as well as the OpenBlast package the installation that is also installed in root that is opt so you can you can check that the configuration is in progress that fftw will be uh, configured and uh, all the changes will be made yes it is done now just apply a simple command that is sudo make sudo make install with that your installation of fftw is done in opt fftw folder ftw3 folder actually so directory is created for that now we will move into the detailed installation of win2k in next video thanks for watching this video i hope you learned all the uh, installed packages over here thank you